How's it going everybody? Zab here and welcome to the top five goaltenders of the month of October. Again, I said in all the other videos, if you haven't checked them out, make sure to do so. I do have the top five forwards and the top five defensemen of the month. Make sure to check those videos out. Links in the description and notations on the screen at all times so you can click whenever you feel you're ready for it. Um, but I wanted to have these videos out every single first of the month. Uh, so I wanted them out on the first of October. However, unfortunately, uh, countless errors of my computer and programs just did not allow me to put it out that soon. And I had to postpone it a couple of weeks. Weeks. I had a bunch of different uh, animation type things with the player card on it and these things that I made in like Photoshop and crap uh, they weren't great at all but they were something and uh, it just everything was, it was counting against me so had to go ahead and just throw it out now just get it done with it record it all at once um, without all the fancy animations and whatnot so getting into it top five goaltenders of the month this is probably going to be the fastest video just because I don't have too many opinions on the goaltenders uh, because I have I used them for a few games I mean honestly I, none of these I'm going to be real honest with you none of these on none of these players on the list or none of these goaltenders on the list are actually like they, they didn't impress me crazy amounts there's the top two are very good but everyone else is kind of subpar to be honest with you uh, but they were the only goaltenders i really used so starting with number five he is going to be a goaltender obviously so let's go goaltender he's going to be playing in the nhl for the not oops not in the NAHL in the NHL and you can hear my voice this is my third video I, I record back to back to back and I don't stop so my voice is like killing me there has to be internal bleeding at this point uh so we're gonna go ahead and uh where am I trying to go Ottawa Senators there you go it's gonna be a laner uh a decent goaltender uh you know six thousand bucks yeah right he goes for about one to two k and this I made the list a while ago but it or two weeks ago not a while ago but it looks like uh he's still running the same price about a thousand to two thousand solid goaltender nothing crazy if you're a division 10 to I'd say a division 5 team he might be able to get you by he might be pretty good for you but if you're anything you know above a division five team i definitely upgrade and get a player that's uh, higher up on my list here he's decent as far as pros and cons it's hard to give pros and cons for goaltenders like generally you don't find a goaltender has great quickness eh, sometimes you do but you don't find like oh my gosh their high their glove is so amazing like you don't notice that many things they're just either a good solid goaltender that make the stops or they're not and laner's kind of 50 50 he's okay some games he's going to be great some games he's going to be crap and some games he's going to be kind of okay so you know it's kind of a double-edged sword and he's either going to help you win games where he's, uh, he's going to screw you up the butt. It, it just depends. I definitely, I mean, try him out if you're having goaltender issues and you've never tried him out. I've heard a couple people say he's really good if you boost him. So maybe try that out. But uh, I don't know. He's been okay for me. Again, 1-2K, to Ottawa Senators, NHL, later. So going on to number four, probably going to be the cheapest guy on the list. One of the cheapest um, on the list. He's going to be playing in the NHL. If I can find her here, should be right here. The Dallas Stars. Probably not who you think it is. Who you're thinking it is is probably Mr. Lettinen, but it's not going to be Lettinen. We're going to have to go over to the caged beauty, the mustache wonder boy, Mr. Tim Thomas. Only an 83 overall. You're probably saying, Tim Thomas, huh? Excuse me. But uh, yeah, he's, he was pretty good. I used him when I first got the game, uh, and he was pretty good. Now, I, I am in Division 1, and I'm sure if I used him in a Div 1 type game setting, uh, he probably wouldn't be the best. But he was pretty good when I used him. Only 5'11, 201. So a fairly small looking feller. Uh, great mustache. So bonus points for the mustache. Um, 84, 85, 85, 84, 85, very average cards. I, I find his stats really solidify how he plays out on the ice, which is just average. Not bad. He impressed me because I'm probably because I thought he was going to be crap and he ended up being okay. Uh, he impressed me in some games. He got shutouts. Like he was really good in some games. And again, not so good in other games. Not a very consistent goaltender. And so far, that's been the issue for me, finding a consistent goaltender. But he's been okay. Definitely number four on the list. Number three is a player that, ugh. I'm going to have a goalie review on him at some point, but uh, he was, he was, he was okay. He was, he was good, but not consistent. I guess it would be the best thing to say. And he was a player that was very good in NHL 14, but he was just not very fantastic in NHL 15. And it's going to be Mr. Who, uh, you know what? That's just a hundred percent. That's a hundred percent habit. <laughs> You'll we'll see what I mean in a second here. That's a hundred percent habit. That kind of made me sad a little bit, actually. Uh, there we are, Florida Panthers. We're looking for Lou, Roberto Luongo, no longer playing for Vancouver, of course. Uh, now, I have him on the list for about 15 to t or 10 to 15, and it looks like he's going for less, maybe 5 to 10, yeah. 5 to 10K, which I, I think is a lot better of a price for Luongo because he is not that great. 86, 88, 87, 89, 89, D, 
decent 89 overall, but uh, no, he wasn't that great. He had some games where he was very, very good, like one of the best goaltenders I've used. But then there are some games where he was one of the worst goaltenders I used. Again, consistency was his issue, but I had to put him at uh, number three. Now, the top two are goaltenders I actually like. All right, all those other goaltenders, like I liked them, they were okay, but these are goaltenders that are pretty consistent. Um, and whether they're consistently bad or consistently good, I don't know. We'll talk about it in a second, but they're consistent, and that's the biggest thing for me. So one of them, this is going to be the first player, whether it be a defenseman forward or goaltender, that's not playing in the NHL. This is going to be a player who plays in the WHL. We had a goalie review on him last year, and he's going to be playing for the Everett Silvertips in the NHL. Again, a lot of people who probably don't know the WHL very good, so I'll go ahead and show you and repeat it one more time. Everett Silvertips in the WHL. Uh, he is going to be, dun, 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 dun. again, we did a review on him last year. Austin Lotz, he was very good last year. It looks like he's even going cheaper than what I have him down for, which is 6 to 1K. He was a fairly rare player at the time because uh, bronze packs, I think they took bronze packs away for a little bit or something like that because uh, they were part of that whole pack glitch. Uh, so he's kind of rare when I compiled the list. But now we go for like three to 500, very cheap uh, goaltender. Now he's going to be probably like 10K or so once you get uh, the change team to make sure he's in the NHL so it's better chemistry. And the plus five all, in the uh, in the 15 duration, this might be a good player if you don't boost him. I don't know personally. I boosted him, and he's a very good goaltender. That's why he's number two on the list. Uh, he is six foot two hundred, not a very huge guy, but he is very fast. I know this is one player I can say his rebound control and positioning, or uh, excuse me, quickness. I definitely can tell are there. Like they are so so good. Uh, he, if I had to compare him to a goaltender in the real NHL, uh, as far as real life goes, I'd compare him to a Jonathan Quick type player, very down low, looking at the puck, he's down there just waiting to gobble a puck up, uh, crazy like split saves, like just ridiculous saves all over the place, but in a good way, like he's in position, but he slides post to post ridiculously fast, like he's just all over the place, he's a flashy goaltender, and he's a goaltender that makes the highlight reels, because he's so, so flashy, um, where players that I've used before, like number one on the list, not a guy who's going to be making in the incredible saves, but that's because he's in position most of the time, and Lodge is in position, but he makes some crazy saves, I've really, really enjoyed him, and uh, I'll definitely try him out again, he is not boosted, because I used him for 15 games, and he's going to be in a goalie review in the future, uh, but I will reboost him at some point, because he was very, very good for me, and I highly suggest trying him, trying him out, Whew, okay, and voices, we're almost done, we're almost done, Zab, we're almost done, only one more goaltender to go, he's going to be a goaltender in the NHL, going back to the National League here, uh, he is going to be playing for the dun -dun 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 Carolina Hurricanes, uh, it's going to be Cam Ward. Very popular goaltender. A lot of people use him. I have him on the list for eight to five or eight. Yeah, that makes sense. Eight to five, eight to ten k. He looks like he's going for five to seven k on average. Uh, about five k and very very good goaltender. Eighty eight overall. Eighty seven. Eighty seven. Eighty seven. Eighty eight. Eighty seven. Fairly average. High you know high eighties there. Eighty eight. Fairly average. Eighty sevens there. But a pretty good player overall. Very consistent goaltender. Um, now he's not consistently outstanding, amazing, but he's consistently good. Um, I honestly, I'd, I'd rather have a player like Ward that's consistently good than have a player like Roberto Luongo. In some games, is going to be outstanding, amazing, and then other games, complete crap. Like I'd rather have a consistently good compared to sometimes great, if that makes sense. Uh, and he's a very consistently good goaltender. Uh, I think he has like an 88 save percentage on my team, so not bad, not great, but pretty good. And um, Fairly, I'm sorry, fairly cheap player here for, like I said, 5K. And, you know, what more can I say? He's just a very consistent player. Position-wise, I notice uh, positioning is his highest category, and I definitely notice it out there. Uh, he's just, he's very square to the puck. And, and again, I, I can't say it enough. Consistency is key, and Cam Ward definitely has a little bit of uh, consistency. He's just a quick little dash, a little sprinkle, a little ounce of consistency on him. And uh, that's why he is number one on the list. So hopefully you did enjoy this video, and hopefully you did enjoy the series overall. Let me know what you thought about it. Let me know your top five goaltenders, top five forwards, top five defensemen of the month. I'd love to hear from you guys. I enjoyed uh, recording the video. Hopefully you did too. If you did enjoy it, make sure to hit that like button. So just absolutely destroy it. Obliterate it, baby. And uh, check out our sponsor, HuckCoinStore.com. They're your number one source for NHL 15 pucks and, or coins, whatever you want to call them, um, on all systems. Xbox One, 360, PlayStation 3, and PlayStation 4. Make sure to use the uh, sponsor code as Zab97. Helps me out. Helps you out by doing more giveaways and, and content, all that good stuff. So again, make sure to check out all the different videos for the forwards and defensemen. If you did enjoy this 
this video, please do hit it with a big thumbs up. Subscribe for much, much more. Zab97. Zab97. What the hell am I doing? I'm going psycho at this point. I've been talking for about an hour straight. So I have to go to bed. I have to go to some insane asylum. I don't know what I got to do. Anyway, like I was trying to say, if you did enjoy this video, please do hit it with a big thumbs up. Subscribe for much, much more. Guys, as always, I'm Zab, and I'll see you next time. Oh, oh my voice is dead. Pull my heart out of my chest Train my mind so I forget Sink your teeth into my bones Dig me out and fill the hole Tear me apart